Hey Taurus, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this is Dan. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This is going to be good for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you are new here, thank you so much for, uh, I'm going to turn that down with you. Thank you for stopping by and if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Because these were, these are love and relationship readings, I thought that I would play some sexy slow jams in the background, and it's really not sexy slow jams, it's cheesy YouTube music, which I love, so I hope it's not bothersome. It does seem a little loud from my end. So, Taurus, kind of what I'm feeling for you is like off the bat, we just had a full moon in your sign. 12.22 a.m. Central Standard Time yesterday, going into yesterday morning. Um, Taurus, you know, you're about physical things. You're about uh, definitely tangible. Taurus is fully 3D. It's also about your values, your morals, your, you know, what's embedded into your core. You know, it's kind of the things that you were taught growing up. Uh, Taurus rules the second house, and the second house is toddlerhood that's one of the things that it represents it also talks about what it is that you earn what do i earn what is mine that's what taurus is about um and taurus i off the bat i'm feeling like with the full moon that we just had in your sign um what you've realized is that you didn't quite get what you signed up for. Maybe you feel like you have given so much more than you received. That, um, that big, beautiful castle that you wanted doesn't seem to be kind of coming together right now. I think you feel like you might be coming up short some sort of way. And if you were in the dark about it, this full moon in your sign kind of illuminated that for you so let's see what else is coming up I'm gonna pull three cards and the first card is it's the eight of wands reversed so like not enough not enough action maybe a whole bunch of talk not a lot of action it's really weird because, oh no, it's not weird at all. Um, it's actually pretty great. This is a Mercury and Sagittarius card and Mercury just moved into Sagittarius today. Mercury is currently at zero degrees of Sagittarius as I make this video. Today is November the 5th, 2017. Um, so, you know, a whole lot of higher thought, a whole lot of big dreams and um, desires for expansion, you know, but it's not happening. Taurus, even for you, things are, are, are going too slow. I feel like you may have had a plan. You may have had a dream. Um, but it, it just doesn't seem to be coming, to the get, coming together or happening or moving in the way that you had hoped. The next card is the Ace of Swords. But a new idea is coming to you. Mercury having moved into Sagittarius coming out of last month, things may not have been moving in the way that you hoped they would. Um, maybe some decisions that you made, you made quickly, but they weren't great decisions. Well, now th there's some new thought, some new idea, uh, some gift from the universe, hopefully that will help you get things moving and shaking again. Whether you are in an established relationship or whether you are waiting for or hoping for or desiring that somebody come to you and things just weren't moving. Something new comes up that hopefully will go ahead and get the ball rolling for you. Okay. This. Taurus, this card keeps coming up. This card has come up all day, not just in my readings, but in anybody else who I have seen pull a card today. This Knight of Coins, uh, generally known as the Knight of Pentacles, keeps coming up. And in your case, it's reversed. And you are hoping for movement. 
you are hoping for some action because upright yeah, this guy generally is not going anywhere. Now in this deck, he actually seems to <laughs> like I it's a country song that talks about a little less talk and a little more action. So in the upright position, he looks like he's about to make it happen, but never really does anything. And I think that has been the case, Taurus. Well, the good news is in this case he's reversed, so He's he's ready to go ahead and get it popping. Whatever it is that comes up, whatever this new idea is, whatever this new way of thinking with Mercury having just moved into Sagittarius, where it was all, you know, kind of upside down and not really moving and nothing was happening, no energy coming your way. Mercury just moved into Sagittarius today and it's all good. That higher thinking, that higher consciousness, that higher knowledge, that expansiveness is all going to come your way. And now you'll be able to get things moving. Where things seem like they were standing still, now things are, are, are able to get moving. And the night of uh, coins, generally Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some very, very earthy energy. So this is definitely something physical. It's definitely something 3D, like I said before, Taurus. Um, I hate to pull another card just because I don't want this to go all over the place, but let's go ahead and give it a whirl and see if we can clarify a little bit. Oh gosh, the next card is the Palace of Cups. You are in your feelings in the best way. Whatever it is you think, whatever it is you feel, it is what it is. We've got all of this energy in Scorpio right now, and these are this is the Palace of Cups. These cards are unique to the to Row of Dreams deck by Sirio Marchetti, which is the one I'm using. Uh, regular set of cards generally has 78. Uh, the Tarot of Dreams has 82 because it includes the palaces. And the palaces are the ultimate, you know, everything. It, it, it trumps everything in a particular suit. And because it's cups, we're talking about water, feelings, uh, intuition, psychic ability, all of that, you know, artsy, fartsy stuff, right? So with the Palace of Cups, this is really a great reading. You may have been feeling stuck and stagnant at first, Taurus, but things are about to get moving for whatever reason as Mercury moves into Sagittarius. And then we've got all of this energy in your opposite sign. We've got Sun and Scorpio. Uh, Venus is about to move into Scorpio in a couple of days. Um, um, Mercury just moved out of Scorpio. Like I said, moved into Sagittarius today. Uh, la, 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 Mars has got quite a bit. Okay, and of course, Jupiter is in Scorpio, the planet of expansion, which also rules Sagittarius, which Mercury has just moved into. And if I hadn't told you guys already, maybe I told Aries, Mercury's going to be in Sagittarius for roughly two and a half months. Why? Because it's going to retrograde in Sagittarius. So we are going to be dealing with kind of this back and forth with this Sagittarius energy. Mercury and Scorpio, I know for me, uh, I'm a Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. Um, so anytime I have eighth house transits or uh, things going through Scorpio, I don't really want to do a whole lot of talking. You can miss me with the small talk, right? So now that Mercury has moved into Sagittarius, we might be willing to say a little bit more and expand our thinking and even our conversation a little bit. But you still got all of this energy, Taurus, in your opposite sign, which is Scorpio, right? So we're still getting down to the nitty gritty. We're still taking it to the dirt, you know, as far as love and relationships are concerned. And you may have been feeling stuck way down in the dark. All of that Scorpio energy. But your mind is going to expand. Your thinking is going to expand. Mercury and Sagittarius is going to do that for you. I hope I didn't confuse you guys because I feel like I kind of went off track. But Taurus, I really think that this is a great reading for you. I think where you have felt stuck, you will move again. And you will move in truth. Because all of this stuff is going on in your opposite sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio is about the truth. No matter how dirty, no matter how nasty, no matter how ugly. And I think, Taurus, where you've been stuck and having to face all of this ugliness. And we just had this full moon in your sign illuminating all of this truth. And now we got Mercury, which just moved into Sagittarius. This ace of 
swords comes up. I hope I've been saying sword the whole time. I think this is good for you. You can get out of that murky, muddy thought and move in truth. That's what Scorpio energy is doing for you. It's keeping you in the truth and Mercury moving in Scorpio is going to help you expand and move on the truth and get things moving again in your relationships. Um, so that's the way I see it, Taurus. I hope that made sense. Thank you, guys. Um, hope to talk to you again next month.